Hi guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss a couple of questions. Now, actually, in the previous video, there was a problem with the uh, question that I had formed here. I had taken the PDF to be 3 by 2x square, uh, where x is between 0 to 2. And one of the students did point out that this doesn't seem to be the correct PDF. So I have rectified my question. And let's work it out and find out the correct mean. The mean of x, whether um, where the PDF for this random variable x is 3x square upon 8 when x is between 0 to 2. So let's just figure it out what will be the mean. Now, mean is supposed to be expected value. Expected value is supposed to be the weighted average of a random variable where the weight attached to the random variable is the probability associated to it. So it is minus infinity to infinity. That is the entire domain, whatever values X is taking. Anything between minus infinity to infinity x into fxx. fxx is the PDF, right? So here in our case, since the domain of x is 0 to 2, so it's going to be 0 to 2 x multiplied by fxx, which is 3 by 8 x square tx. So area under this curve, okay? Now, for us, it is between 0 to 2 and that means we are looking at the integral 0 to 2, 3 by 8x cubed dx. So when you integrate this, what will happen? I can keep 3 by 8 outside. Integrating x cubed would give you x to the power 4 upon 4. Wherein you will have to put the bounds 0 to 2. So that means you get 3 by 8. 2 to the power 4 upon 4. When you'll be putting 0, it will just be 0 upon 4. So it's just basically 3 by 8 into 2 to the power 4 upon 4. 2 to the power 4 is 16. So you get 3 by 8 into 16 upon 4, which will give you this is 4 and this gives you 3 by 2 should be the expected value of this random variable. And that's the mean. That's the mean. So the mean is 3 by 2. Well, yes, one of the options is giving us 3 by 2. And here it is. It is. Option B is the correct answer. So when it's a continuous random variable, again, you're taking weighted average. Weighted average will look like integral x, fx, dx and when it is a discrete random variable again you are taking a weighted average and it will look like summation you will be summing over x fx so it's again weighted average but you will be summing over that's the only difference between the two okay the next question to be discussed in this video is the value of k for which the function fx is equal to k e to the power minus 3x where x is greater than 0 and 0 otherwise is the probability density function is. Is it 1, 2, 3, 1 by 3 or what? Well, the concept that we will be using here is that the total probability in the entire domain is should be equal to 1, right? Should be equal to 1. So that's what we will have to do here. We will have to integrate this in the entire domain and it should be equal to 1. So you have minus infinity to infinity fx dx. So it is k e to the power minus 3x dx. Actually, it's, it's a very interesting question. At the end of the question, you will realize it. So minus infinity to infinity k times e to the power minus 3x dx. This should be equal to 1. But I, it's given that x is greater than 0. So what I can do is I can break this integral at 0. So I can say, okay, minus infinity to 0 k e to the power minus 3x dx plus 0 to infinity k e to the power minus 3x dx. This should be equal to 1. 
Now, the fact is that the probability when x is less than 0, it is always 0. That's what uh, is given to us in the question. You can see, right? So, therefore, all we have to do is, this implies that 0 to infinity k times e to the power minus 3x dx should be equal to 1. It's very simple to integrate an exponential function. Let's keep k outside. It's going to be the same, e to the power minus 3x and in the denominator, the scalar minus 3. From 0 to infinity should be equal to 1. Let's put the bounds. So k is here and in fact I can put minus 1 by 3 also outside. So what I get is e to the power minus infinity minus e to the power 0 equals to 1. So this means that we have minus k by 3 e to the power minus infinity is tending to, it is 0, right? It's taken as 0 and minus 1 e to the power 0 is minus, uh, is 1. So 0 minus 1 is equal to 1. Now minus minus cancels out and what you get is that k is actually equal to 3. So the correct answer is that k should be 3 and this means it is option C. Okay. Now, what is that interesting thing about this question? If you've done probability distributions in detail, you must have done a distribution called the exponential. Exponential distribution for the exponential random variable, right? When you would have looked at this question, probably if you've done this random variable before, you've done that distribution before, you could realize that this looks a little similar. The PDF for exponential random variable, where the parameter is lambda, is lambda e to the power minus lambda x, where x is greater than 0. This lambda is the same lambda that is used in the Poisson distribution in the Poisson process, basically. It is rate of something happening, okay? It's a rate. Uh, here, we have exponential distribution. So, the PDF looks like lambda e to the power minus lambda x. Well, for this to be a valid PDF, you would equate it to 1 and you are getting k as 3. Actually, Exponential is also exponential PDF is a valid PDF. So for this expression to be a valid PDF, automatically in your head, you could have probably, uh, you know, seen the answer in your head uh, yourself that, okay, K should be three and that makes it exponential distribution for that matter. So yes, if you would have uh, done exponential random variable before, then probably you can relate to that PDF pretty well. And yes, lambda is basically 3 in this question case, okay? Always remember, exponential random variable comes from the Poisson process where the rate of occurrence of something is already given, with you, given to you and you are trying to figure out some probabilities associated to it. When the probabilities of random variable that you are looking at is a discrete one, it's Poisson, a Poisson random variable. If it is time oriented or it is waiting time attached to the Poisson random variable, it is exponential random variable with the same parameter lambda, which is in our question turns out to be three. And the expected value in case somebody would have asked the PDF, uh, you know, PDF and what is the expected, hence find the expected value. The expected value, the moment you have uh, exponential parameter lambda, you can find out the expected value is one by lambda. That is the expected value would have been here one by three. Thank you. I hope this helps.